throughout Elon Musk's on again. Elon Musk has agreed to buy Twitter for $54.20 a share. Off again. Musk scrapped his bid to buy the company. He wants out of that $44 billion deal. And finally, on again deal to buy Twitter. One legal question hung over the whole saga. Could he actually back out? After all, he signed a contract promising to go through with the deal. A contract means something. It's the law and it's enforceable. We asked Eric Talley, who teaches contract law at Columbia Law School, to explain what the Musk Twitter saga teaches us about how contracts work. How's that? And why, once you've entered into one, they're so hard to get out of. So a contract is, by definition, a legally enforceable promise for which uh, their breach would allow someone to actually marshal the state uh, through the judicial system uh, to assist them in enforcing that promise. Contracts have been around as long as commerce itself. The version that we have right now is something that we effectively inherited from England, but has largely started pretty much to become the template for big international transactions. When constructing a contract, Tally says he advises his students to think in reverse. We actually start at the very end. We start at the death of the contract through a breach and what happens in terms of remedy. Unless you know what the consequences are for breaching a contract, it's hard to understand all the rest of what goes into a contract and its performance. In other words, starting with the exit strategy will inform all other decisions about how the contract is structured. Most contracts have out clauses for things like one party misrepresenting financial data or facts which is what Musk claimed Twitter did. And then, of course, there are often contingencies for unexpected events like natural disasters, unrest, or war, scenarios that would need to be written into the contract. So, what happens when one party wants to bail and the other doesn't? That's where things can get tricky. There are essentially two scenarios. Scenario one, the party is able to leave the deal through a settlement or court order. Sometimes there is an exit fee written in, the party that wants out can pay that fee. For this deal, Musk would have had to pay $1 billion. But if they don't both agree, and Twitter didn't, they could move to scenario two, sue to make the deal go through under the original terms using a remedy called specific performance. Specific performance is an alternative form of a remedy for contracts that instead of money damages, the court just gives you a court order that says you have to go through with the promise that you've been breaking and we're gonna force you by this court order. Think of specific performance as the court holding you down and forcing you to take your medicine. A judge says you have to go through with the deal no matter what. Mm -hmm. Specific performance rulings are rare, mostly because parties often settle before it gets to that point. Because he kept the deal in place, we'll never know for sure how it would have ended for him. But odds are, the judge would have done her best Kim Wexler and told him, It's the law, and it's enforceable. 